everyone, Complex back with another video, and today is extra special. Not only are we kicking off week four of the Cataclysm, which brings in the sixth event, the Crucible of Astrid, but but we've got nine new weapons hitting uh, hitting the Cataclysm, which is ultra exciting if you've been waiting for them. Wait no longer. They are finally here. They are only available in the war chest uh, weapons, which you can find either by doing the daily. So if you take each of your javelins into uh, the Cataclysm Complete 3 events, you do get a free uh, weapons war chest, or you can just buy them in the seasonal store. I believe the price of them is one major and a 200 minor crystals. So I'm literally <laughs> just going to be grinding out the Cataclysm 4 crystals to uh, to work on those rolls on the weapons and hopefully get a Lego of each with uh, really good rolls by the time the week's over. I'm going to be busy. I know. I know. But... Let's talk about the real reason why we're here, which is how to do the Crucible of Astrid. It's not that bad, if I'm being honest. It does take some coordination. You can't solo this for the most part. If you're an interceptor, there, it's not it's not one of those things where you can do it like super, super fast and solo it yourself. You can solo the majority of it, but I'll show you when we get in why you can't 100% solo it. And how to summon the Valkyrie reminds me a lot of Diana's Landing, so I'll show you how to do all of that when we get in. And as a heads up, right now, the way I'm currently doing the order of the events is Ring of Magnus, uh, Brittaheim, then I'm going over to the um, Crucible of Astrid, coming back, doing the Forge, Castle Kelric, and the Dominion Foothold. I'm generally trying to leave the Dominion Foothold for last just because you have to kill mobs for that one. So it's just a lot of mobs. And if you don't have the stability bubble up and you've got your multiplier up all the way, it is a metric boatload of points. But let's head on over and look at how we do the uh, the Crucible of Astrid. So if you come out of Brittaheim through that main door towards where the spheres are and take a right and follow that back wall, you'll eventually hit this teleporter here, which will actually take you right next to the Crucible of Astrid, which is the way that we're going to save time. You can fly over there, of course, but that's just going to take you a metric boatload of time. So as you can see, this is where you end up the crucible of astrid is to the right of vara and uh it's 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 an interesting event so once you fly in you're gonna see a couple turrets you want either if you're not the one dealing with the echoes you're gonna want to take down the turrets for your teammates or uh you're gonna want your teammates to take down the turrets for you right away if you're actually the one doing all the echoes but what you're gonna do is you're gonna see that door um that's blue and covered and you can't really go through it just yet you're gonna see an echo in one of the relics you're gonna want to take that echo and you're gonna want to bring it over over to you kind of see the uh, the arrow you're gonna want to bring it there and pop it in what that's gonna do is set off that beam and it's gonna release some echoes and you need these echoes to complete the event so you're gonna want to pick up three and then if somebody else is doing this event with you you're gonna need them to pick up the other one or somebody else in your squad is gonna need to pick up the other one so what's going to happen is I'm also going to snag this pressure plate. If you're an interceptor and you can go super, super fast, you might be able to skip this, and I'll show you why in a bit. Um, but for the majority of people, I'd say just to grab this to be safer. It'll make sure you're super efficient. So you're going to need a teammate to head over to where we initially pulled out that echo. You're going to need them to have an echo, and you're going to hop through because you pulled down the barrier when you pulled out that echo. So they're going to need to re-put in an echo. And then you get to run over here. And then it opens up. So now you can put in an echo, put down the weight on the pressure plate to help you out later on. And then you're going to want to put the other two echoes that you have in to the match or to the relics. It doesn't matter which relic or what order you do this in by any stretch. There is a fast travel node out of here back into the event. So that we don't have to worry about being trolled, which is super nice. So if somebody forgets about you that you're in there trying to finish the event, uh, don't worry. You can get out. Um, once you're out, you'll see you're directly across from the beam and where we had put in that echo when we first started. You're going to want to retake that echo out because you're going to need it again. You're also going to need a friendo who opened the portal doors for you originally. You're, you're going to need him back. Also, take up that pressure. Wait, wait. The wait for the pressure plate. That Words, Plex. Words. Anywho. Back on over to where we were before. So basically, this is just a rinse and repeat in order to open up the doors. You're going to need a friendo to open, uh, to pull out the echo. So the barrier goes down so you can get through. And then they're going to need to re-put in the echo to release the barriers on the other side. And then you are going to put your last weight and your last echo in. And then basically, once everything is lit up and you can go across all the pressure plates, you're just going to want to run across them. Now, if you're an interceptor and you don't have the weights and you have all the echoes, then you can run around that really fast um, and still have it activate. 
And then you're going to want to ignore finishing the event, which you can see is right on the other side of the beam. What you're going to want to do is fly over here to this rock that's jutting out. And then you're going to want to interact with that node that pops up. And that summons the Valkyrie. So it's very Diana's Landing-esque in that regard. But you want to do that awfully quickly just in case. Because I believe if you shoot the crystal, that opportunity goes away. So make sure you get that done ASAP. Unlike Castle Calric, where you can summon the Valkyrie later, this one's a you must summon the Valkyrie right away kind of event and then you're gonna you're gonna murderize the valkyrie that that's what's gonna happen next and then last where the beam is shooting out uh and hitting that thing you're gonna want to interact with the node that pops up and then the crystal becomes available and then you shooty shoot the crystal and and it's done congrats you've completed the crucible of astrid now rinse and repeat no i'm just kidding um some things to note, though, if you are playing this with randos, you're going to have to make a couple decisions about what kind of teammate you're going to be. Are you going to be the person that runs around with the three echoes and goes into that chamber? Are you going to be the person that opens the door or are you going to be the person that murderizes all the mobs? The one thing I will suggest is if you are going to be the person that's there opening and closing the door for the person with the three echoes, that you just stay there. It's going to be so much easier for you. Um, and I'd also suggest the moment that they're through and you can see that they're through, um, just pulling, well, I would say just pulling the echo, but if they don't know about the fast travel point, I'd wait until you see them on the like one or other side of the barrier before pulling um, the echo out. But just to note that you should stay there. Uh, and help. If you're going to be somebody killing mobs, no shame in that game because killing mobs is more points and the uh, the more points you get, the more minor crystals you get, which is the aim of the game because we all want weapons, war chests. Um, but y'all, hopefully this helped. Let me know either in the comments down below or on Twitch if you have any questions that I haven't answered yet. You know, I am always happy to help. But y'all, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your night and or day, depending on where you are in the world. And I will catch you next time. Bye, guys. Bye.